a lot of questions uh, related to planning, and almost every software team has the similar questions. When you can deliver this feature? How many user stories we can include to the new sprint, for example? Why the last iteration was so overloaded? We are working more than eight hours every day. Who worked more than eight hours every day? It's not me. <laughs> I would like to share during my presentation my personal experience in the several companies and uh, several projects. Let's go to the Agile and Scrum methodology. Scrum methodology recommends a story point estimation. Who uses story point estimation in your projects? Only Vladimir? No? Who knows about story point, how it works? Mm, not so many. In this case, I can explain it very, very briefly. Story points provide the hour estimation not to be accurate. It should be consistent. We need to compare the one user story from each other. For example, this user story, like Excel t-shirts, it's very high and complex things. And this is very, very small. It's maybe some minor changes. It's like a S size t-shirt. When engineers think on, of uh, an estimate, they need to be comparing the story to other stories in the past in order to evaluate in consistency. And story point and task hours serve diff uh, different purposes at different times, so we should avoid relating them to, to one another. You can read a lot of books and internet articles about how we need to estimate in story points, and in most our projects now. We are estimating our user stories in story points level. I tried to implement uh, this real story point estimation in my projects several times. And it might look simple, but in fact, it's not, uh, it's not like that in real life. You have experienced the typical pro problems about that. The first one. You need to explain to everyone how the story point estimation works properly. Not only your team members, only all stakeholders in the project, your managers, the customer managers need to know how it works. And uh, they need to understand it and use properly. The second question, uh, the second uh, challenge for this, people are different, and their perception is different too. I can share my personal example with the um, use of team. When we discuss about the one user story, one developer estimated his 10 story points, the other one for four story points. I try to clarify why it's so different, because I don't know. And uh, during the conversation, I understood they mean the same effort for this user story, only two days. They are confusing only about the story point scaling. And uh, the third uh, point, it's uh, more related to us, to consultants. Changes in team roster. If someone go out and some newcomers go to your team, you need to return the step one and explain, and uh, also explain the scale of story point. In which team uh, in the last half of year you experienced some um, you experienced some changes in team roster? Someone wowed, someone new? Not so many. <laughs> Any ideas how we manage it? My answer to this question is simplify and start estimation in astronomical hours. Don't try implement a story point if you never tried to estimate your work previously. It would be like a, um, try to go to the space from this ground immediately without any preparation. I tried it several times with different teams in different companies and it looks like that. I tried to jump and after that I'm going down. A lot of effort spending but value is nothing. At the first time, try to estimate in hours and uh, go to the space from the stairs. 
and try to go to the first steps. The first one, engage the whole team in planning and estimation process. It's a typical mistake for managers and dev lead. Of course, managers are professional to creation of project, uh, project plans, and dev lead experience, uh, have experience in the different projects and have a lot of experience. If you start the creative uh, planning uh, with managers, Scrum, and dev lead together, we will create the brilliant plan. But it would be only your plan. Other team members didn't participate in the estimation process and don't usually agree with their period plan. So, if a team wasn't, was not on, on time with delivery, it would be also only your problem. The second step, it's a trusted environment. What I mean? It's very hard to make a commitment when you are not sure about the amount of work. For example, the user story is not groomed, pr groomed properly, or you are junior developers and don't have a lot of expertise on that, or maybe uh, you experience the problems with the planning and previously, and you are not good on it. At the beginning of the planning session, you need to explain every teammate that estimation is only prediction. It's like a weather forecast. I know only one uh, approach how to estimate the task exactly. Do you know about that? It's a finish, this task, of course. The third step. Take enough time to the sprint planning. According to methodology, for two weeks sprint, recommended to organize a session from four to eight hours. Of course, with breaks. We, in my team, we organized it um, usually in the such way. We're gathering all together in the morning, including product owner, include not only developers, only QA engineers, business analysts, and product owner and uh, architects and dev lead explain our, the first, our sprint goal. We identify which user story covered the sprint goal. Why it sh uh, what is business needs of that? Why it should be implemented exactly in this situation, not many. And uh, after that, we have a break, a couple of hours. In this time, team, they investigate how we can implement it. They're thinking about that. They're estimating their task in hours and the rest, of course. We go together in the second part of the session all together. And we, in the second part of the session, we observe the overloaded on, and, or underloaded for every team member. And based on that, we are reassign the task, reprioritize the feature, and we um, try to, at the end of the day, we have a plan which support the all team members and everyone believe it, because it's created together. It looks like a silver, silver bullet to solve all your problems with sprint planning and task estimation. But in real life, the process is much harder. What typical challenges we will be experience? We need to realize that we lack the experience for proper work estimation. On the one hand, developers are typically a big optimist. At the other hand, the managers afraid to lose their jobs if something will not be delivered on time. But we need to train the skills, and we have a possibility to train the skills every iteration. Like you preparing your muscles to run a marathon, you need to train the skills to estimate your works. And the first, it's, a, it's a simple to start estimate in hours. Uh, also, I mentioned in articles uh, good metrics uh, to uh, it's estimation task accuracy. You can use it uh, to uh, measure how you develop the skills for your team. The second challenge uh, we are typically creating a plan based on the ideal world. 
I had such an experience with one team. After the planning session, we had, uh, we had a lot of free hours for developers and QA, but we didn't manage our work on time. Uh, it works like your commute from home to office. Imagine uh, you're home from 30 kilometers from office, you are driving by car. Anybody have a car? Not so many. <laughs> Speed limit, 60 kilometers per hour. And uh, how much time you need to take to commute? Uh, theoretically, it's 30 minutes, of course. And typically, uh, the team, team members try to estimate it for 30 minutes. But we will have such obstacles. For example, traffic jams. In software development, it's dependency, for example. Traffic lights, vacation of your team members. Traffic accidents, wrong implementation, sick leaves, something like this. So you can be late at work. You can be assertive and try to go to the office in 30 minutes, but I strongly recommend you include these obstacles to your estimation. Try to utilize every hour. It's a very bad practice from the previous age of the project science. You definitely wouldn't be on time. Your team would be overloaded. And you will be on stress. Believe me, I had such mistake a lot of times. And we can observe the real case from my two teams. <laughs> I call this Team U and uh, Team C. Um, and where is the plan better? What is your idea? For example, is this almost 100% all team members utilized? And uh, for this case, we utilized only 44%, 16% for these developers. This team didn't deliver this as a whole time because of dependencies, because something lack of requirements, because of something wrong during the implementation. Yeah, but it's a very good team. Let's sum up to my presentation. Avoid planning the one. You got your personal plan, but the team doesn't believe in it. Improve the whole team estimation skills. Start estimation with hours. Don't think about story points at first. In my experience, after the several sprints, the team will be understand this Hours, not like astronomical hours, like something theoretical hours, and it would be relative to story points. And of course, sorry, don't forget about mistake. Estimation is a part of the learning process of a team. You can get better and better from one sprint to another. And then your dream is to conquer space with your team. And I really appreciate all my team members who support me every day for trust and open mindset. My mules of team, Andrei Grigoriev, Dima Tia, Sasha Saladyov, Dima Fundak, Eldar Shakurov, Natasha Kruglova and Natasha Lamina, Pasha Vlasov, my command and sales force, Alek Lutsevich, Vadim Yakovina, Sasha Medinsov, Karl Judge. Оля Баранова, Никита Овчинников, Саша Курбатов, Леша Мезенцев, Маша Шумейка, Миша Платонов, Виктор Бобич, Дима Узки, Андрей Пивоваров. И, конечно, он also my bosses, Diane Antonian and Евгений Рудаев. And also Vika Arnold, who invited me to Customer Times.